Hi, right, Thomas Parker here. Uh, I thought I'd show how I do blocks, and I'm going to be sharing my code with uh, the rest of the Unity uh, community since you know Unity community has been so great. So anyway, um, this is the script I've been working on, uh, block building, and it points to a cube prefab. Uh, so if you press one, you see the highlight the first one, which allows you to build a building block. And if we were to click on the starter ship or the uh, b starting blocks, you can actually craft stuff. So I thought I'd show that a little bit uh, how that works. All right. So now that you see that it works, let's see. Just to pr prove my stuff. Thought I'd show you guys how. Uh, step through it and how how the script works. So I'm gonna end, turn that off. We're gonna head over to this the script I was working on. Okay, so this is our variables we have public variables. It's our start function that does all the initialization of anything you need on the start. And this is uh this calls uh, functions or other things once per frame. Um, and this right here. Is a find chip block method. It is a uh, recursive method, but I need to find a more efficient way of using this because when I actually tried to use this, once it got past like 100 blocks, it was very, very, very laggy. So I'm probably going to use a enumerator for that. So uh, <coughs> here's the actual create block script. So uh, we're going to make a gray cast hit. Now uh, save the object we uh, hit in the uh, hit in the world. We're going to make a ray called mouse position. We're going to get the camera, which if you go back up, it is the camera variable. So where we load is the camera variable. Screen point to ray. We take the mouse position of that. So wherever your mouse is, it casts the ray into the scene at an infinite uh, distance. <coughs> and here's where we actually do the ray casting into the scene. So if the physics ray casts mouse position, right, and then we, whatever that hits, it outs it, uh, it sends that to the uh, out variable here. So it sends it this raycast hit, so we're like you're to hit anything. And uh, here is a check for what kind of tag we have for buildable. Which, if we go back here and go back to the cube, you see it says buildable. So when the raycast goes in the world and hits one of these blocks or the starter block, it's looking for that specific tag because uh, you don't want it to build on everything. So uh, this is a lot of nested if checks. Uh, so, <coughs> if the key is down, mouse zero, which is the left mouse button, and the build option is true, we want to uh, create our building block, and we create a local variable for it to load that into it, and we uh, typecast that as a game object, so that loads that that in here. So, um, since here I'll show you parenting and childing and all that. So this is the parent object. It's it has no parent. It's uh, high level. So we're gonna build a block onto it. And you see there's a child in there. So we click this. It's not actually adding to the scene. It's actually adding to this this object right here. So if we were to go into scene object, you can actually move it around. You can rotate that. And they all work as one. So that's uh, parent and child relationships. And you can actually go down further. Say if you wanted to have a tank, you would have um, a separate turret object and put all the corresponding things in there, and so on and so forth. All right, it's back to the script. Okay, so if the hit parent is not equal to null, meaning if it has a parent, uh, we want to change this object, the temp object, uh, parent to the object we hit and its parent. So that would be uh, that would be this right here, since that's the uppermost parent. Okay. So since we did that, and now only do we do that, we get the component starter block and we add the block count and we add the block mass. That's just for 
for what I'm working on, so you don't need to have that. You could just have this and this. And uh, if it if it is, if the hit object does have a null, you want to uh, set the parent object to this um, this hit transform. Meaning, when I click on this starter block, it will make it a child of this starter block. If that makes sense. So now that we do that, that actually creates the block. Oh, and um, how we get the block to work the way we want it? If you look here at the uh, the vector, you want to get the hit transform position. So that tells it, hey, build it on this position and the hit normal, which is the uh, which is the uh, vector from where we hit this. Uh, usually at uh, 90 degree angle. So no matter what angle you hit it off, it's going to be uh, 90 degrees from the surface. So wherever this, wherever this normal facing out, if that makes sense. So these are uh, normal vectors. Uh, let's see, like like this face, that's a normal vector. That'd be a normal vector, etc., etc. So that's how that works. And you want to add it to the the hit position, so it takes the center of this object plus the hit normal, and it will place it, boom, right there, or wherever you click. So what you should get after doing that is something like this. And if you're wondering about the statistics, here it is. There's two draw calls. Uh, I'm sure if you add more materials to each of these cubes, it would be more draw calls. Uh, there, I think there is a way to add meshes, combine meshes, but I have not done it myself yet. So hopefully this helps you guys with uh, building your own Minecraft type games. Uh, the only thing I have not been able to do yet is uh, random uh, generation. So that's the next thing I have to work on. So we'll go in the script more. Uh, let's see. And these are just for the other objects as well. Uh, we don't need need those. But uh, I'll post the script out for everyone to see. You guys can modify it any way you want. Uh, add any tag you want. Hopefully this is a good starter to. Uh, build any kind of Minecraft game or if you want to build a uh, space engineers type game you guys could probably use this um, I do not suggest using rigid bodies on these objects I tried doing that and you get uh, a loss of performance so you're better off um, calculating that without rigid bodies or you can have the parent object itself have a rigid body and then <laughs> say your thrusters add uh, velocity in the direction they're pointing at. So, so where you want to look at. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, I'll post this uh, for everyone to see. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, comment below. Uh, and also check out the game I'm working on. I'm using similar things to this, but I'm using the Photon uh, networking um, setup. And I can actually, if you guys have any questions about that, I can show you how to do um, like a persistent not a semi-persistent uh, building. That's where, uh, say, a player joined the game early on, built a castle, and then another player joined. They would see that castle. That's something I worked on early in uh, Obsidian. So, uh, let me know if you have any questions about that. I can guys can show you some of that stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I take a lot of pride in my work, and. Uh, let me know what you think. Have a good day.